this is CS50. We are taking a look at week one practice problem hours. We are exploring arrays here. This one's going to be kind of simple, or I hope is simple for you guys. Basically, what you're doing is you're inputting the number of hours that you've worked on CS50 over the weeks. In this case, it's 3, 3, 7, 10. And then you enter T for total hours and A for average hours per week. Whichever one you enter, it will return one of those two numbers, whether it be total or average hours. Getting into it, we're already provided with quite a bit of information basically everything we would need to do the code except complete the calculated hours function so that's what we're going to get into this one's going to be pretty straightforward if you guys follow the lecture it's just going to be implementing some of that basic coding here so we're going to have int total hours right total hours and we're going to set that to zero and what we're going to do is we're going to have an if or a for loop right so we're going to have for int i right and then we have to have if the output is T or if the output is A. And then there actually has to be a third option for if the output isn't either of those things. And I'll explain a couple things you can do when we get there. So let's start the for loop. So we're going to do for int i equal to zero. And then when i is less than the weeks, um, you're going to go i plus plus. So anytime the i is lower than the number of weeks, we're going to keep iterating through until the total number has been reached. And then we'll be able to complete our calculation. So we're going to close that one out there and we're going to open our for loop. So we're going to have total hours uh, is going to be plus equal to hours, right? Oops. Plus equal hours of i. That's our variable that we're using here. Uh, closing that, we're going to open our if loop here. So if the output, so what the user put into the terminal, whether they want t or i, uh, is equal to, oops, output is equal to, which is two equal signs, uh, t, and you have to put that in quotes or um, apostrophes. I use apostrophes, but you can use quotes as well in this code. If output is equal to t, then you need to return total hours. Let's open this back up. So if uh, output is t, we are going to return total hours. It's just going to calculate those hours. Uh, however, uh, otherwise, let's scroll down a little bit here. Otherwise, uh, if that if is something else, we have to do else if, right? So else if the only other option should be uh, output is equal to A, right? So output equal, and then again in quotes or apostrophes, uh, A. So if output is A, we need to return the average of those numbers. So we're just going to punch in a return here and it's going to be float to get the average right now we don't need float on total hours because it's just going to add the total hours so that it doesn't have to do any math so we don't have to use the float function on t for total hours because it's just going to add up all the hours that have been input and spit out the total number when we're dividing we need to use the float so total hours and it's going to be divided by the number of weeks that they have input that the user has input Finally, we need our last one. Let's get that right. Our last one is going to be else, and if anything else happens, uh, we need to return an, a variable that's letting us know that the wrong thing has been done. Now, to handle an invalid input, I'm just going to return negative 1. That's it. And now you could do something else here, right? You could actually do a printf statement. So if you wanted to return something like printf, it would, well, well let's just kind of show you. So if you wanted to return uh, printf, and then you would open your error, right? So e error, blah, 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 blah. You'd type in whatever you wanted to type, right? Uh, give it a new line there, uh, backslash n, right? And then output, right? So that's what that's what a printf error would look like. It's not asking for anything like that. So we're just going to basically do return negative 1 so that if they put in anything other than a or t, then we won't return anything. It'll return a negative one, letting the user know that there's been some sort of error in the program. Since it's so small, they should be able to see that error. So let's take a look here. First thing we're gonna do is style it. Looks good, but consider adding more comments. Now you guys will know that on all of my codes, I tend to put a lot of comments on those. I'm not gonna bother on these kind of more simple codes. So for this, it is what it is. We're just gonna leave it the way it is. Let's run our check real quick. All right, everything looks good. This is CS50 week one. That was ours. I am Devin. As always, you guys are awesome. See you guys soon.